Good afternoon, everyone. Not so long ago, I learned about the existence of the festival Wasteland Weekend, taking place in the heart of the Mojave Desert. The event claims to be the world's largest post-apocalyptic festival, and participants take part in activities around the theme of the apocalypse. Why is there such a contemporary fascination for the collapse of civilization? What is the appeal about spending four days in the desert celebrating the apocalypse? The appeal is not insignificant to me. It resonates with the perception of the American desert in the French-speaking literary imaginary. The arid place is either associated with origins and early days of American imperialism or Western films, or ends, and with the future of humankind. In my research, I examine the reasons why the American desert triggers author's imagination. It is characterized by its immensity to feel and perpetrated emptiness. As French writer and philosopher Jean Baudrillard notes, European settlers, while slaughtering Native Americans, have opened the possibility to call the desert empty, a true fictional space, and an endless combination of fictions. Films and television these past few decades filled the desert with mythologies and turned it into an aesthetic object. They fantasize about nuclear bombs, aliens, and even methamphetamine. As you can see, the desert's mythical layers are superimposed onto its geological ones. The myth in French fiction is magnified. Desert is the only type of landscape missing in France. The farewell place is thus exoticized, and French authors and filmmakers um, add an extra layer of fiction to the desert, the transatlantic reception of American cinema. In my research, I show that francophone fictions attempt to unravel these layers of myth. Simultaneously, they are entrapped in the mythology attached to the desert. They oscillate between origins and ends, but the arid place never belongs to the present. Because I am limited in time today, um, I will focus more on the mythology of ends. Although, um, as you will see, both extremities are intimately interwoven. In the 21st century, Francophone authors associate the United States with new pessimistic images. And the desert, specifically, crystallizes the anxieties of the end of the world. Anglophone fiction and literary theory consider the American desert as the ideal place to depict the various crises of our times. The events taking place in the desert would anticipate the future of the planet, forced human displacements, home destruction, collapse of the Anthropocene, drought, etc. Besides, the United States is the birthplace of climate fiction and inspires French-speaking writers. From a Francophone perspective, America evokes a place where everything is possible, including the end of the world. This is the theory of French-Canadian scholar Jean-François Jean Chasset. The road, for example, about the United States and in French-Canadian literature evokes death. The American Society for the French foreshadows the future of Europe. Over 60 years ago, filmmaker Chris Marker was already arguing that the American lifestyle was the most criticized, yet most imitated in the world, and could be that of all Europe 20 years later. Authors set action in the action of their novels in the US um, because they, they can fantasize about the future of France. And the desert, in this transatlantic analogy, reflects on the decline of French society. In the arid context, the concept of society vanishes and is replaced with individual struggles. Ecofiction is not as developed in France as in the United States, but several Francophone works explore the desert's ecological dimension through the lens of a nomen of the end of the world 
And these are the words of the main character of French-Canadian film, Désert. In my research, I do not study the description of nature through the lens of eco-criticism, but rather the movements of wandering characters in the desert. Scholar Aiden Tinan claims that the grounding rule of home or habitat becomes impossible. My character's underlying reasons for leaving their home is the destruction of the planet, or more broadly, of society by humans, and in some cases, self-destruction. Suicide is a recurring theme in fictions set in the American desert. The film 29 Pounds, directed by French filmmaker Bruno Dumont, for example, features a couple visiting the Mojave Desert. The characters wander in the wild wilderness and perform as if they were the last men on earth, or perhaps the first ones. They visit a fantasy world, a fiction within the fiction, as they step on the layers of myth. In the central scene of the film, the two lovers lie naked in the desert. They merge with the environment and reactivate in their own way the myth of Adam and Eve. Simultaneously, the film turns into a horror scenario. In the second half of the film, both characters are brutally assaulted and the main character kills his lover before he kills himself. The film oscillates between a biblical time, origins, and a post-apocalyptic depiction of the world, ends, in which not the law, but the land sets the limits. The end of the story, as you have probably noted, is rather pessimistic. The desert murders characters who dare to tirelessly reenact the myth of the American conquest. To conclude, the desert is hardly separable from its earlier myth. Tourists gaze upon it through the lens of cinema, and European travelers and writers add a transatlantic layer on top of this pre-existing and aesthetic bias. However, the myth recently shifted towards the dystopian and disrupts the usual narrative of the desertic journey. The desert, stretched between origins and ends, never belongs to the present and blurs the contrast between past and future. As we are entering a new era of planet Earth, apocalyptic scenarios resemble reality more and more. Layers of myth may turn into geological layers again, while the origins may succeed to the ends. Thank you.